Greetings, cinema buffs and buffettes. I'm Hugh McClintock. And I'm Hugh Crimley. Welcome to another episode of Hugh, Hugh Go to, to the movies. movies. The show where we go to the movies. And compare current cinema to Martin Scorsese's 2011 masterpiece film, Hugo. Today we'll be reviewing Godzilla, a re-re-reboot based around the god of Zillas. Now, I had the same problems with this cinema as I did with every other Godzilla cinema. Not, Not enough, enough like Martin Scorsese's 2011, 2011 film Hugo. Hugo. It just wasn't enough. At all. So many people run away from monsters in this cinema, but none of them were a little boy living in a railway station named Hugo Cabret. It just felt like a wasted opportunity. Couldn't agree more with you, Hugh. Nice effort, Gary Edwards, but where are the hidden keys? I mean, where is the spooky kooky bookkeeper? Ah, maybe the lizard stomped on him, but I didn't see him. Brian Cramden reads books, but He's not the same man that reads books that Christopher Leaf plays in Hugo Cabret. Very confusing and very disappointing. Hugh, I gotta give Godzilla zero Hugos. It, it didn't cut the mustard and it certainly was not the film Hugo. Blech. Hugh, I'm gonna have to disagree with you. I give Godzilla half a Hugo. Gary Edwards' last name reminds me of the first time I saw Hugo Cabret at an Edwards cinema. That's a movie chain. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Next week, X-Man. We'll see you then, live at 4 a.m. on the only review show that matters, Hugo to the Movies. And we did, and we did, we really went to the movies. Is Godzilla a lizard? It is a lizard, right? Oh, I don't know, I didn't know, I didn't watch the movie, I, I took that long pee break. Tremendous art!